Do you or someone you know suffer from cat allergies? Well, this video, we're going to talk about six ways in which you can coexist with cats, even if you have allergies. Hi, I'm Jessica, the furry family coach, and in this video, we're going to talk about six ways that you can coexist with cats even if you have allergies or if someone you know has allergies. First off, let me start out by saying that I understand that allergies are a real thing. I actually have eye allergies um, that my cats affect very much, <laughs> but um, I know a lot of people out there do have allergies to their pets. Some people have allergies and think that they can't have animals, they can't have pets because of them. And in a lot of cases, that's just not the truth. You just have to take some extra steps. You just have to take a few extra steps and make things work. You can have the companionship of a pet. Even if you have allergies, I'm going to give you six ways in which you can accomplish this. So first off, let's start out by saying if anyone does have allergies, they are a pain in the butt, so be sympathetic to them. Okay, so number one, what you can do is to start feeding your cat or even a dog, if you have a dog and you're allergic to dogs, start feeding your cat a biologically appropriate, a species specific, biologically appropriate diet. Now, what is this? This is a raw food diet, or at the very least, a homemade diet. Um, something that is not kibble, something that is actually appropriate for your pet to eat. If you have any questions about what a biologically appropriate species specific diet is, there are tons of videos on my YouTube channel that can direct you in the right place. Now, why is this important? It helps your cat's coat tremendously you you will be surprised if you switch your pet from the dry kibble or and, and processed foods that you're buying from even you know pet stores even some of the higher end pet stores if you take them off of that food and you put them on a raw food diet a species specific biologically appropriate diet you will notice a drastic change in their coat and in their skin they are going to have far less dander and dandruff. Um, what is, and the dander on your pet is actually where the allergens are coming from. So to decrease that dander is going to improve the allergen content in your home tremendously. Number two is to bathe your cat. Um, choose a, a shampoo that is created for cats there is a different ph balance that your cats need versus your dogs versus us so don't use a human shampoo on your cat use something organic something that is created with the ph balance of your cat in mind and you can do this up to once a week this is also going to drastically help that dander content on your cat and the dander content in your house which will decrease your allergens number three Get a routine in place for cleaning your home. This is, this means everything. We wanna reduce the dander content in our home. Dry mopping, vacuuming, cleaning and washing your pet bins regularly. I clean every single week and I, I clean all throughout the week but I have one day a week where I am dedicated to cleaning and that means that my, my house gets cleaned, especially the areas where my pets congregate and live the most because I want to keep all of the dander down. I don't want all of these allergens, not to mention it's just more hygienic. So get a cleaning routine in place, clean everything, your drapes, your uh, couch, your chairs, all of your furniture, clean dry mop, your hard floors, vacuum, make sure you empty your vacuum cleaner outside not inside of your house these things are going to help the dander content drastically number four use an ionic air purifier number five and this is a big one if you have someone in your household or if you are the person in your household who has the allergy to your pet um, specifically your cat make that person's bedroom and closet a pet free zone. So your cat or dog will not be allowed in that one specific area of the house, um, a bedroom and a closet, that's it. 
because you want to minimize the amount of dander. So you want to keep that a pet free zone. And finally, number six, we want to give our kitty optimal levels of omega-3 fatty acids. This is going to increase the health of your kitty's skin and coat and reduce their dander. So there you have it. Six things that you can change, just little things you can change in your home if you have an allergy to a cat that will allow you to have a cat in your home. So thank you so much for joining me on this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, um, especially people that you know who have an allergy. Give them these um, tips and tricks that they can use to try and bring a pet into their home. A great way to do this is by um, fostering or fostering to adopt so that they can try it out. Hopefully they can work it out and have a cat in their home. They are absolutely wonderful companions. And um, also comment if you have any questions. Um, if you have another tip that isn't included in this video, leave it in the comments below. I love to hear your comments. And until next time, I'll see ya.